In this video, we are going to discuss about uh, skewed gate. So the skewed gate which will uh, the skewed gate uh, it will reduces the the size of the non critical transistor so basically it is of uh, two type one is uh, <coughs> high skew and another one is low skew so what it terms is uh, it will <coughs> favor rising output okay that is um, p mos so you have small value of n mos whereas uh, the low skew it favors falling output that is uh, n mass so you have a smaller p mass so therefore uh, the logical effort the logical effort is smaller for favored direction So for um, uh, favoring uh, rising output, right? rising output means uh, I can term this one as GU. Okay. Uh, for falling output, I can term it as GD. So for um, for high skew, uh, GU GU should be less than uh, for high skew GU should be less than GD. Whereas for um, low skew GU is greater than GD okay so this is a condition so uh, if I want to find the logic gate of the skewed gate okay so the definition is uh, logical effort logical effort of a skewed gate for a particular transition is the ratio of the ratio of the input capacitance of that gate to the input capacitance of an unskewed inverter delivering the same output current the same output current for the same transition So let me assume um, um, uh, we need to find the so first uh, we need to find the uh, logical uh, effort and parasitic uh, uh, delay for the um, high skew inverter okay so that is a question so uh, for high skew what is high skew um, uh, this is for inverter okay 
so for unskewed value this uh, p mass is 2 and uh, n mass is 1 right uh, for uh, since we know that uh, for high skew uh, the n mass value should be um, lesser right the n mass value should be smaller so i am going to divide it by 2 okay so instead of uh, 1 i am dividing that one by 2 okay so this is your high skew uh, of uh, value for the inverter um, next uh, we need to find the benchmark value okay so here you can see um, the what is the formula for the resistance resistance is 2 into r divided by k okay so this is your um, k value okay this is your k value so uh, you will get uh, this is r so this uh, that is since if i substitute k value is equal to 2 2 2 get cancel i will get uh, uh, r so the current value is here is i okay similarly for uh, this um, for n mass so what is the value r by k okay this is a formula r by k so you substitute k is equal to 1 by 2 here if i substitute 1 by 2 i will get uh, 2 r so if the resistance is uh, 2 means uh, I, uh, current get reduced by 2 right so the current value is now is 0 0.5 times i okay so um, how to take the current at the p mass the current is i okay at for the n mass the current is 0 0.5 i okay so that value you have to take so that value you have to take um, so for for this one you have to take the benchmark value so this is a benchmark value So the benchmark value uh, for the um, uh, you know for the rising output, uh, not to find the GU, uh, you have to take the value of two. Okay, so two you have to take. If it is two means uh, P mass is two means uh, uh, the half of the value should be for N mass. So it is one. So what is the input capacitance? Addition of these two values. So addition of these two values three. Okay. So, to find the value of GU, GU is equal to uh, this value that is uh, 2 plus 1 by 2 is 5 by 2, right. So, 5 by 2 divide by 3, this input capacitance, benchmark value. So, this is your benchmark value, okay. And this is your 5 by 2. So, what is the value? This is 5 by 6, 5 by 6 is uh, less than 1, right. You can see 5 is less than 6. So, uh, this value is less than 1. And uh, if I want to find the value of uh, GD, okay, that is logical effort for the, um, <coughs> pull down uh, network. So, you have to take 0 0.5. This is your 0 0.5, 0 0.5 value. If it is 0 0.5, it's twice the value is 1. Okay. So, addition of this 2 is a, your input capacitance that is nothing but 3 by 2. So, uh, what is the value? GD is equal to, GD is nothing but this value. This is uh, 5 by 2, 5 by 2 divided by benchmark value. Okay. So, what is the value? 5 by, 5 by 3. You will get 5 by 3. So, you can see uh, uh, this uh, 5 by 3 is greater than uh, 1. So, uh, here the GD value is greater than G for the for the high skew, right? So, this is the condition get satisfied. So, if uh, in order to get the average value, so G average is equal to uh, G uh, UP plus uh, GDW divided by 2, okay? So, you take uh, 5 by 6 plus 5 by 3 divided by 2, you will get um, 5 by 4. So, 5 by 4 is your uh, logical effort for the uh, inverter for the uh, high skew, high skewed value. Okay. Now, let us uh, go for a low skew, uh, low skew uh, inverter. Okay. So, we know that um, uh, this value you should keep it uh, common uh, then uh, for the rising output you have to divide it by 2 so 2 instead of 2 you have to uh, 2 by 2 you will get 1 okay so the input value input capacitance value is 2 1 plus 1 is 2 okay so next uh, you need to find the value of benchmark value right so to find the benchmark value 
for the rising output uh, you have to take the one value one here and uh, the one you have to divide it by two for n mass so one by two so uh, the addition of these two values three by two that is your input capacitance and the input capacitance of these two one is two addition of these two value so you have to divide not to get the gup you have to uh, divide uh, two by three by two okay so there is nothing but four by three four by three is greater than one okay uh, in order to get the gdw value so take one value one for so here the benchmark value take one and uh, twice the value is two so the input capacitance is three so two divided by three two divided by three so this is two divided by three by two two divided by three by two is four by three so instead of uh, taking the benchmark i can uh, solve like this uh, okay uh, in order to find the value of gup gup is nothing but so if you see the <coughs> p mass p mass value is 1 so the resistance is 2r by 1 so if the resistance is 2r means current is 0 0.5 because um, i by 2 i by 2 is 0 0.5 likewise for n mass it is 1 um, that um, so uh, r by k r by k is r by 1 so r value is uh, here it, uh, it is you are having r so i value is also uh, same that is i so therefore uh, uh, instead of uh, sigma i have to substitute um, uh, 0.5 for uh, gu and uh, for sigma you have to substitute uh, for gd you have to substitute uh, sigma value as uh, 1 and uh, two value uh, you get it from the um, given inverter 1 plus 1 and uh, 3 it is nothing but the c in of the inverter okay so here the denominator 3 represent uh, c in of the inverter so instead of using a benchmark you can solve it uh, like this also so i hope this video is useful for you thank you